Hello there. Being transgender means that you don't identify with the gender you were assigned at birth. And there's a whole diverse array of ways that people can identify in the trans world. But anyway, as a trans female to male, F to M, that's me, uh, you know, I just identify as male. But um, today I'm going to talk about how it is a little bit scary every time you tell somebody you're trans. It doesn't matter if you're just coming out at the very beginning or if you're um, far into your transition and you completely pass as the uh, as the gender that you feel. So, um, you know, when you're a man in a man's world and you have to kind of just tell somebody or mention or you want to tell somebody that you're trans because it's part of you, uh, there's just a little bit of nervousness that happens. And the same nervousness is... Um, present when you first come out to people, um, when you're in your, your wrong kind of perceived body, like when you're uh, perceived as female trying to tell people that you're male, there's this nervousness, this like little hesitation, this fear of what might happen when you tell someone. And <clears throat> I just want to explore this fear a little bit because, um, because really, what is the worst thing that could happen when you tell someone that you're trans? Well, you know, you can be disowned by your family. You can um, possibly you make a very uncomfortable situation. But why is it so uncomfortable? I mean, it's not even that hard to comprehend. I mean, you know, it's not threatening. Or obviously, it is threatening for some people. So why is it threatening? Well, let us explore. Please comment below if you if you have some experiences with why this is threatening for some people. I mean, obviously parents just feel a lot of uh, pain. Some you know when <laughs> when the information is shared, at, you know, it either pain because they you know they didn't treat you right as you wanted to be treated for so long, or they just uh, they and they just feel bad that you have to be you know a trans person. It must be so hard. <laughs> Or alternatively, you know, they're very upset and they just can't believe it and they're just so disturbed and, you know, they think it's wrong. And and why, why do people think it's wrong? You know, sometimes you run into people when you come out and they'll say like, oh, I don't believe in that or, oh, that's weird or I, that just is a trend or something strange like that. Being trans is not a trend. It's so hard to be this way and it's such a process and an investment financially, emotionally, spiritually. So it's definitely no game and it's definitely no fun. And here we are, you know, trans people, um, like, <laughs> like, you know, like some of us are and, um, and, and it's, uh, it's not, super fun all the time and it's embarrassing sometimes it's it's uh very vulnerable to tell people you know this part of you and it's just sad because really when people say you're wrong you are right you are you you know who you are and that's so important to remember if you're like hesitant to believe it our society is designed to make us doubt to make us uncomfortable about it to make it humiliating as an experience you know it's just um and it, that's another question why is it like that why why is it designed to be so scary to be different or just a little bit different but then being trans really isn't different because you just associate with a very like hum ho like oh i'm just a regular kind of guy or whatever I mean that shouldn't be scary that should be like oh good oh you're normal I thought you were just a weird lady <laughs> no, I'm just kidding but um but anyway it's just a very interesting topic and I think it's uh, important even even you know being a trans person approaching another trans person for me sometimes has been a little bit like uh, I hope they understand or <laughs> you know um, it, but it there's so so this um these feelings we have to remember at the bottom of our hearts and at the truest part of ourselves like this is real this is a part that we can acknowledge and that we can share and uh it's just funny you know you get the butterflies sometimes and at least i do and uh it's it's, in, it's just another a joy a joy of life it's just sharing secrets is the same experience or just sharing things that are 
different or strange or all right here i go turning this off now